Still ahead on Spectrum Bay News 9, meet today's everyday hero who spent his entire career protecting and serving the Bay Area. We'll have that story right after weather and a quick break. As we're done past the hour, it's time for a check at the tropics. The big story continues to be the remnants of Barry, so producing some heavy rainfall there across the Mississippi Valley. Meanwhile, the rest of us here are seeing some relatively quiet conditions, but as that system, the remnants of it, continues pushing its way up to the north and east, we'll continue seeing some very heavy rainfall there in place. As a matter of fact, the original low pressure center, we still have that southerly flow, and that's going to result in a swath of two to four inches of rain along parts of the Mississippi. The rest of us here in the Atlantic, on the quieter side of things, we are seeing a few areas of low pressure, a couple of tropical waves coming off the coast of Africa. We're not looking at this to develop any further at all because the atmosphere around this in the central Atlantic is just so unfavorable for development. And here's why. We have a lot of dry air coming in from the north from the Saharan Desert, and uh, that will limit any type of tropical development there that you can see. As a matter of fact, on the satellite, You've seen that, too. You see a couple of rounds of some shower storms, one of which pushing westward hasn't really developed too much. We have another wave coming off the coast of Africa that really doesn't have too much of a chance uh, developing here over the course of the next four or five days. Here at home, showers and thunderstorms, that's in our forecast. Tropical downpours, too, at times. This evening, 8.30 or so, a few leftover showers and storms. They'll be coming in from the east, pushing westward here. And that means tonight we'll begin to see the activity move into the Gulf of Mexico and start to see our conditions quiet down into the overnight hours into tomorrow morning. Tomorrow afternoon, we do expect more showers and storms to increase. So for today, temperatures low and mid-90s. Wesley Chapel at 95 degrees. St. Pete at 93 with more thunderstorms here this afternoon and this evening. Otherwise, tonight, evening thunderstorms continue. Temperatures into the 70s. Heading out to the coastline, seas will be on the lighter side of things, but still a bit of a breeze. Winds there are the southeast, about 10 knots. Here's your seven-day forecast. Rain chances continue to increase Tuesday into Wednesday. Wednesday a bit higher, 60% chance of afternoon showers and thunderstorms this week. The greater chance of rainfall will be during the afternoon and evening hours compared to last week, where it's generally there into the morning. But then notice your temperatures continue to stay until lower 90s through the upcoming week. We'll be back here in 10 minutes with another check of that forecast. For now, here's Clystron 9.